There was a fair amount of interest in a tweet I posted this week about using the TL866 EEPROM programmer to test logic chips. This appears to be a function that not many people know about, so I figured a quick video to demonstrate how to do this was in order. You may not be familiar with the programmer. It's a cheap USB device made in China that I found works quite well with EEPROMs, EEPROMs and PALs. It's powered by USB and the accompanying Windows software is not bad. The manufacturers don't supply software for Linux or Mac, but I believe there are third party command line tools available for those operating systems. I've got no real experience with them, so if you're planning on using Linux or Mac, then it's probably worthwhile doing some research first. The Windows software is downloaded from a Chinese site that looks well dodgy. It's in Chinese, so you'll need Google Translate to help you out, but I promise you that it does work. And the original manufacturer, to their credit, does seem to update both the Windows software and the programmer firmware on a reasonably regular basis. The only real limitation I've found so far with the programmer is that the program voltage limit is limited to around 21 volts. Some older EEPROMs that require voltages in the range of 21 to 25 volts cannot be programmed by this device. Anyway, these can be picked up from the usual online marketplaces for around 40 to 50 quid. Um, it's worth mentioning that there is an older version, the TL866. This is the TL866II+, Plus, which appears to be better spec, and it's the one I'd recommend getting. Um, also, to confuse matters, these appear to be cloned quite a lot. You may see it branded Minipro or with another brand on the case. Mine's an XG Echo for what it's worth. They all appear to be the same device. Um, I've got a couple of logic ch chips up here I want to test, uh, MOS 7708s. Uh, these are functionally equivalent to uh, 74 LS257s, they're a multiplexer chip, and I don't know whether they work. Uh, the Commodore 64 is broken that they've been taken out of, so I suspect either of these chips are faulty. Um, so let's test them. So the first thing you need to do is launch the software after plugging the Mini Pro into the PC, of course. And then select the chip type. Uh, so we select that in much the same way that we select Flash, only this time um, in the list on the left-hand side, we'll select Logic IC. Um, and then we'll search for the device 257, isn't it? Uh, 74 LS257. We'll select that as the device to test. Um, so let's put the first device in. Uh, notch at the top. As indicated in the diagram, and let's test it. And that one's failed. So the four logic units there have all got errors. So the test result is a complete failure for that chip. Um, so I'll put that one to one side. That's testing for the bin, I think. And let's test the other one. Again, notch at the top. And test. And that one's passed. So, um, yeah. Got two chips there. One's passed and one's failed. So you can see how easy it is, um, even to the point where the uh, software customizes its behavior so that it's all about testing rather than programming we've got a test button um, and it gives you the test results very very clever very very handy um, it's a surprising number of logic chips you can test as well so we can look at the full list by removing the fills from the search device uh, you can pretty much test any logic chip under the sun there so um, all in all, I think this is quite a valuable tool 
in a um, developer's arsenal where, especially if you're refurbishing old machines like I do, just for quickly testing whether or not a logic chip's working or not. Um, it just gives you a little bit more confidence. It saves time. So, yeah, there we have it. That's how we test logic chips in a Mini Pro uh, TL866II+. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.